guys, uh, welcome back for vlog 133. We're gonna be trying out this pulled pork, spicy burrito. As you know me, I love my spice. So I've added sour cream and I've added guacamole to this. Now what's really good about this actually is the fact that it's pulled, spork, uh, pulled spicy pork and uh, I'm just delicious uh, <laughs> and I'm just hungry. Opening right up, first impressions. I did get to this one as soon as I could. Oh, this one's looking a bit, a bit like it's about to fall apart on me. Hopefully it doesn't. It's got all the beans and stuff and all the little goodies in it. All right, now when I was re-watching this footage and uh, I was watching it on stream, that's not a bite. All right, I'll see what, what I can do for a bite. Honestly, I can't fucking believe how beautiful this is. This is with the rice in it, and it's also got all the pulled pork, everything. I've got the, the scrounge of birds, bin chickens surrounding me. They're waiting for me to toss some food, because that's what people do here. They buy food, and they toss the food to the bin chickens. Today is honestly a really nice day. The beans with the pulled pork, Mixed with guacamole and mixed with the sour cream. I think I'm just falling in love with this burritos. <laughs> Where have they been all my life? Mmm. We've got black beans in here. I can definitely tell that there's black beans in here. We've got a little bit of tomato in here. I don't see no lettuce. I think it's all just uh, avocado and, sorry, guacamole. The rice here is on the side. It's a white rice. Mmm. Oh, flies are starting to surround me. Got a mozzie. So uh, I'm gonna be trying to record a little bit of night footage with this thing tonight as well. I have a little bit of a, an inspection that's gonna be happening tomorrow at my premises. So I have to go around, clean everything up, help out. I don't think there is much more to this. It's simple spice on the pulled pork. The guacamole tastes nice. The sour cream really complements it. Rice just seems to take off the edge and the black bean. It's just nice, it's a good, good combo. The reason why it took so long to get out today was because of the um, settings I've been trying to set up on this. Now, they have suggested to do 24 FPS. That's more for the, the movie type stuff and creating that cinematic feel. So what I might be doing is uh, just sticking to a 30 FPS because of the amount of motion that I do in these. But I'll be cutting back from doing 60 FPS back to doing just 30. Small off sizes to work with and with the improved bitrate color and stuff like that, that should be good enough. It's getting towards the end and all the wow factor is gone. With a Cali burrito just kept hitting me with surprises. This one starts to fall a little short, losing a few points due to the nagging aftertaste that it does seem to present to me after a while. With all that in mind and the fact that I got to it in a decent temperature, I'd say that this burrito, while nice and in initial impression, does leave a little bit of an aftertaste for me so I'll have to subtract that two points off that one and say this one's about a seven out of ten not to say that it's a bad burrito by any stretch I actually think this is a great burrito it fills the spot but what will satisfy me to go back and get more this will probably be the first and last maybe if I was desperately hungry so until then I'm gonna keep exploring and looking for that perfect 10 out of 10 moment So I've played around with some of the settings on the Osmo and it looks like we've gotten something that's actually relatively nice. It's very low light though so I'm not sure how the footage is even going to come out. So I've got to play around with these. Anyways, I don't have feeling alright. I did spend a hell of a lot of time working on settings for my new camera to make sure that you know, all these settings were solid and that I had the right amount of light. It's actually a bit of a struggle to get any kind of night footage to work. And where the biggest struggle I was getting was trying to figure out between 24, 25, and 30 FPS. I'm trying to figure out the difference. And 24 would just work out. It was just the standard cinematic experience. The thing is, when I'm recording, it's all about the real life experience.
Like random shots like that I can just do with this thing. And it seems to be great. Or whatever it does. Now the thing is, when I was recording yesterday, I actually didn't have any of my spare battery packs. And I left it all in the car. And silly me, I had like 10% left in battery when I was done. But, I did end up bringing the extra battery packs. So, hopefully, I don't lose them. <clears throat> but let's take in a few shots. Enough of me. Let's see what we've got. A nice shot at the, over there. Just trying to get that last little bit of light before it all goes dark. Now, as you can see, there really is no natural light sources here. And you guys were probably wondering about the end of the other vlog. This is all lights up at night. So, all that lights up and then I had that, that flickering. Just finished up my walk, finished up with some footage, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked the vlog. And if you guys liked it, don't forget to check out vlog 134, where I will be doing... <laughs> yeah, look, just uh, check it out. Um, thank you ever so much for watching, and uh, bye for now.